Today we're taking a look at a brand new kayak just introduced by Old Town. This is the Topwater 120. This Topwater 120 was designed to be a very stable fishing platform. The specs on this boat is 12 feet in length, 33 and a half inches wide. This boat comes in at weighing 82 pounds and gives you a total capacity that it can handle of 500 pounds. The top water is really nice for a couple design features though. So first off, I would say this is a very nice, simple kayak that you can buy at an affordable level. $9.99 is the price that, and it gives you just about everything you need to get started in a quality fishing kayak that is very stable. So you can see the nice thing here, there's a lot of leg room inside this boat. There's plenty of room to stand up. Nice big flat platform here, and it feels very solid. Um, Old Town uses a polyethylene plastic on these boats. It's rotationally molded. And the nice thing about Old Town products is that you get a lifetime guarantee on the plastics. If you ever have oil canning or the plastic has an issue, take it to the dealer you bought from and it's handled. Very nice thing about this company. Um, so you saw I have a pull-up strap here or a strap that can help me to get down into the seat. Um, what's really nice about the cockpit area here is first off the seat comfort. This seat is a very nice wide pan lawn chair style seat. I can, you know, tweak my back angle as fit if I'm paddling aggressively along. I have my adjustable foot braces and this 12 footer has a lot of leg room. I'm about six foot and you can see I've got another eight inches that I could extend those pegs down. So tons of room inside this 12 foot boat. Other things that we can note on this boat, we have three flush mount rod holders here. You're gonna see we have two behind me which kind of if I'm trolling or just paddling out to where I'm going to fish, that's a great spot to just keep those rods out of the way so I'm not hitting them with the paddle. Old Town does something interesting though. They add this flush mount right up front here. So that flush mount, the concept of that is that if you're fishing and you got a fish on your line, gives you a place to now put that rod holder, or the, I'm sorry, that rod in place and then get both of your hands onto the fish to get that hook out of his mouth. So uh, just a really smart concept right there that they did. On this 12 foot boat, a couple other features that we're gonna look at. You can see we have a large tank well storage area in the back. Old Town uses some nice orange quarters just to kind of highlight these boats. And then on the left hand side here, we have our paddle clip. That's a retaining clip. And the retaining clips are nice. It gives you a nice strap that can kind of clip over top the paddle then. but. Uh, Retaining clips are nice because it's a one-handed operation. As a fisherman, a lot of times you have a rod with the fish on in one hand and you just gotta get the paddle out of the way and you don't want it to float away. So having that clip there that's one-handed operation is a nice feature to have. And I'm here to talk to you about the updated features of the 2020 Predator PDL. Uh, start off with the most obvious. Um, so starting up, up front here in the bow, you'll see we have the new quick seal hatch, which is an easy one-hand operation bungee, uh, but with the same watertight seal. Very nice gasket on here, keeps all the water out. Quick and easy to access when you're on the water. Uh, then we move back, you'll see the drive here. This is the same PDL drive uh, that we're known for. Uh, small update is we changed the hatch style on here. So we went from the round uh, flat hatch on the, the PDL drive, updated to the rectangular hatch. This has a much better seal on it, more watertight, um, and it's a lot easier to, to use and access. You got some, some bungees on here. You can uh, clip your phone or accessories, your pliers, whatever you want uh, to that itself. Then up front, you got uh, your mounting plates here. Uh, what we did is we drilled out the accessory track mounts, uh, which is the standard uh, accessory track attachment system. Uh, so these are now standard on here. Uh, we left room in the middle so you can also screw in whatever accessory you want, uh, rod holders, GoPro mounts, whatever you have up here on the front. Um, and then moving back, there are two more that also have the accessory track, so you have four total. As we move it to the, the inside, the cockpit of the Predator PDL, you'll see we did away with the Exo Ridge uh, platform and we've replaced it with a nice EVA foam uh, material. Nice and soft, very grippy, so you can stand up, not lose your your, uh, your grip there when you're stand up fishing. Um, it's a nice nice touch, very comfortable, and a nice update there. Um, staying up front in the cockpit, you'll see we added a forward facing rod holder uh, right there on the right side of the kayak. That's for switching out lures, uh, landing fish, just a quick, easy 
place to stash your pole um, without really thinking about too much or reaching behind you. You can just stick the pole right in there and do what you need to do. Um, you'll see this, uh, the trucker style knob that we added uh, with a locking screw so you can lock your rudder into place to control your drift or if you're a lot of current uh, or tide. Um, you can secure your rudder where you need it without it kind of drifting off on you. Uh, plus that trucker style knob is a lot easier to grip, a lot easier to turn your kayak. Uh, moving towards the stern, uh, same big tank well, nice and deep. Um, you can fit all, whatever crate you want to use back here, coolers, catch bags, uh, live wells. Um, you'll see those accessory tracks uh, that we added on the mounting plates. Um, and then another big addition we made this year um, is the shallow water anchor mounting system. Uh, so this, you'll see, is a nice flat platform with pre-drilled screws so you can mount your shallow water anchor, a nice hole in the back where the, power, the pole will go right down there and you can anchor in the mud. Um, you can run your wiring all the way through up to your battery bag in the front. And I'm here today with Perception's Pescador 120 Pilot. Uh, now you may recognize this boat from the uh, Pescador uh, 120 that we reviewed last year in Kayak Angler. Uh, and it is in many ways the same kind of, same boat. Uh, but this one of course has the addition of this Pilot pedal drive. Starting out with this uh, great boat here, the Pescador 120. You know we fell in love with this thing last year uh, for a great value. You get so many fishing features and in a well-built boat, um, you know, flat deck for stand-up fishing, lots of room, you know, huge stern well, uh, and one of our favorite features is the uh, big bow well up here. You know, a lot of these stand-up oriented boats have gone to uh, in, uh, using a bow well instead of a bow hatch. Really convenient place to throw a million things that you use during the day, put them in a dry bag, uh, throw them up in the bow well. Um, you know, how many times a day do you use a bow hatch? You know, if you're not going on long trips or, you know, going through the surf, then, you know, a bow well is the way to go for sure. Um, just like the uh, Perception uh, Pescador 120, uh, these really cool little uh, hatches in the bow. Again, another easy place to throw the little things you need a million times a day. These whole little tackle boxes and tools and stuff and keep them out of the elements. Um, gear tracks from Yak Attack, uh, four of them, two in the deck and two in the gunnels, right where you need to put rod holders and, and uh, you know electronics and stuff like that. So real nice to have that addition in there too. Uh, molded in rod holders, vertical rod holders, molded in. They also uh, you know included this really cool high-low seat or high seat uh, frame seat. Uh, it can be removed and used as a camp chair and uh, it's a real comfortable seat uh, for you know all-day fishing, easy to get out of the way so you can stand up fish. Um, so, you know, for a great value, this boat comes in at $17.99, I think, right now. So less than $2,000, uh, you get a pedal kayak and a great kayak, and, uh, um, uh, you know, you'll be well on your way to kayak fishing. So uh, this is Perception's Pescador 120 Pilot. Today we're taking a look at a brand new Old Town kayak that just hit the market, the Top Water. This is the Top Water 106. This boat has a length of 10 and a half feet, has a width of 34 and a half inches with a max capacity of 440 pounds. Weight on this boat is at a 73 pounds. Topwater series was designed to give a budget friendly boat here. Uh, the boat is priced at $899, which is uh, really competitive with other brands that have lawn chair style seats. The um, nice thing about the top water though is durability on this boat is incredibly strong. This is built from polyethylene, rotationally molded plastic, and like the company Old Town uh, does with all their other products, they're going to give you a lifetime hull guarantee and plastic guarantee that your plastics in this boat are really stiff, they're not going to change shape or oil can over time. It's a really nice guarantee Old Town gives you on their boats. And I am in the Malibu Pedal by Ocean Kayak. It's a pedal powered kayak. Uh, a few years ago I went out and bought myself a regular, you know, ore powered kayak at a farm goods store. It wasn't, wasn't really expensive. And my whole intent was to use it to go fishing, fishing from a kayak. I, I loved the idea. But what ended up happening is that I'd cast my line and the wind would drift me down the lake and I'd have to paddle back, cast my line, and drift again. So I thought that I would give a pedal powered kayak a chance and see how it works. So at the heart of the Malibu pedal is this PDL drive system. It's super easy to put in and put out. 
and it's actually propeller powered. A lot of pedal kayaks use flippers or a different propulsion system. The thing that I love about the way that this is set up is that it's a 10.3 to one gear ratio. Layman's terms, you can get started faster, get going much, much quicker than you can with maybe some of the other systems that are on the market. 